Yo, 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 what's good, what's good, what's going on everybody? Um, today's vlog is getting started a little bit on the later side. Was going to be heading to uh, the community gym to get a workout in, but don't know where the key fob is. So it's all good, man. So we'll, we'll get a workout in. We just won't be able to get it in at this gym. Hey guys, I wanted to, to speak to you guys today. Um, I think a big part of this vlog is going to be about things that I'm going after, like things that I want to accomplish within the uh, the next few weeks, you know, within a year's time or whatever, you guys are gonna be seeing the process unfold. Like the people on GQ Real Estate, they've been able to, to follow along with this journey, but they haven't been getting a lot of the insights of, you know, what this process looks like on a day-by-day -day basis. And I'm talking about buying land and getting ready to put a house on that land. So, um, there have been three properties that I've really, really been interested in. Like, I've been, I've been looking forward to, you know, really diving into this thing, and you know, just going through through everything, right? And when I when I say everything, this is what I mean by that, like going online and basically just doing some online shopping for land like that. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it excites the heck out of me. Right. Just to be able to go through and be like, yeah, no, I don't want that. Yeah, I like I like that. Can't really rock with that. This is it. This is not right. And. I found about like three or four properties that I absolutely fell in love with. One of them checked off a lot of the boxes. And at step number three is when we go to the county and we go make sure that, you know, this particular property can indeed have a modular home put on the land. So that didn't check off, but we got some other properties. Um, that we're going to uh, continue to do our due diligence and hopefully, you know, it checks off all the boxes. So a few of those properties were in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And with that, man, I've been, been looking forward to it, man. Been, been excited and been discouraged, you know, here and there or whatnot, man. I mean, like that, it comes with a territory. Anytime, you know, you're, you're embarking on a new journey, you have to understand that you're going to run into bumps in the road, right? And I oftentimes say that the journey doesn't start until you hit your first problem, until you run into your very first problem. And understand that, that, that those things can be really, really draining. But don't, don't let that discourage you, right? Keep moving, keep pushing, man. What's for you is going to be for you. You just need to get out there, do the work, do your due diligence. I think these are some huge houses, man. And uh, and it'll come. So, I wanted to speak to you guys real quick today about um, this next piece of property that I really do feel like this, this thing right here is it. It's checking off most of the boxes. The only thing is it's a little bit more on the outskirts. So you gotta go a little far further away than what I wanted to, to get to this property. But I think that this is it, man. I believe that this is it. I don't know what that green stuff was, but that definitely wasn't a part of pink lemonade. So I put it back in the, uh, the young lady actually gave me this for free. It's just ice, but I don't know what that was about. But yeah, uh, besides that little crazy incident, it just happened. I, honestly, I want to speak to you guys today to, to talk to y'all about like struggle, 
how I deal with with struggle, how I deal with, you know, bumps and stuff in the road and everything. It kind of goes back to about two weeks ago, I had a interview that I did with a gentleman and we spoke for about an hour and we didn't really know each other that well. Like he has, you know, looked at some stuff that from my different podcasts, my different YouTube channels or whatever. So he got a pretty good feel for who I was, but I didn't really, you know, really know who he was, to be honest with you. But we sat down for about an hour and we, we talked. And he was basically just saying, you know, Katie, I don't think you really realize this, but you've pretty much been this way at least since high school, since, you know, the conversations and stuff that we were having, you know, you spoke about, you know, how you were in high school on up into the guy that you are today. And I love to have these conversations because I like to get to know the person behind the work to get an understanding for why they do the things that they do. And one thing that I took from you is you don't run from a challenge. You run to it. I was like, you know, it's kind of strange that you say that. Like, like break that down for me. Like, what, what, like, what do you mean? If you, if you look back when your YouTube channel was taken from you, right? Your main channel, your baby, the thing that you had worked so hard since 2017 to start, you worked your butt off. You threw everything at the wall and was trying to figure out like whatever sticks, right? And you built that channel from zero on up until that thing was easily approaching 100,000 subscribers. In the last month, you gained 40,000 new subscribers and, fi and did 15 million views, right? So it's kind of, it's not hard to say that you were able to find some level of success with that YouTube channel. So when that channel was taken from you, when your main channel was taken from you, you had worked about three years to get to where you were and it was taken from you, stripped from you. You could have took, tucked your tail between your legs and ran back to it. But you decided to take the hard route out. You decided to get a job and learn the business behind YouTube. Because even though you were able to generate some level of, of success, it was still a lot of things that you kind of question, right? And so you learned the business behind it. And now you were able to start not one, not two, but almost seven different YouTube channels and use all the information that you learned from that to be a little bit more intentional about how you're doing things. And you were able to grow, you know, two, three, four channels. You took one channel from 1,000, well, my bad, from zero to 1,000, to 2,000, to 5,000, to 10,000, to 15,000, to 20,000 plus subscribers on YouTube right now, almost at 25. You took another channel that you started around the same time, maybe the same day, and you took that channel from 1,000, to 2,000, to 5,000, to 10,000, to almost 15,000 subscribers. And then you took another channel that you knew, you knew nothing about real estate at all. And you were able to monetize that channel faster than you were able to, to monetize any YouTube channel that you have started. And you know nothing about real estate, but you know the business behind starting a YouTube channel, behind starting a business, how to to be intentional about how you're moving and bring an audience in to will them in people are commenting they're watching those videos go out every single well every other day and you've been able to generate some revenue from that and i know i know you know we probably got a lot of people out there like yo bro you crazy there is no way in the world that i would have just simply given up on a youtube channel that grew over 40,000 subscribers in one month, over 15 million views in one month, in the, in the last month that you had that channel. And you really think that I'm gonna abandon that channel just to start seven new channels? Yes, yes. It's been a lot of times in my life where I, I knew and I understood 
Like, if I was to take the easy route out, then let's just say, for instance, God forbid, but let's just say, for instance, we get back to this point. Something that was taken from you, you figure a way to, to get it back or whatever. And you really did not know and understand, you know, how you got to that spot. You was just trying a bunch of ish, right? I don't like to feel that way. I don't like to be like that vulnerable. I, I want to, if I'm in a space, I want to know and understand how I got there, why I got there. And I, of course, I want to continue to grow, you know, and I know and I understand what real struggle brings and what it builds. It builds character and it, and it instills something in you that you never forget. Like when my channel was taken from me, guys, I want you guys to understand. Listen, this was not something that I honestly took lightly. This was I literally poured everything into that channel and a big part of me still wants those videos from that channel because there was a lot of people that that I touched during you know like posting video posting content you know when i when i've got this this tesla like a lot of those people literally seen you know the different things that i was going to on a day-to-day -day basis excited you know going through a lot of different things it wasn't just excitement it was me being pissed off being ticked off or whatever but me humbling myself and getting back all just going through all of that stuff almost a year and a half of waiting on my tesla car watching my other subscribers my other followers get their car and me still waiting still being hopeful still being thankful still trying my best to be patient and when i finally got it you know going around to uh to talk to different family members and and my dad my mom they were extremely proud of me man because they know how long I have been waiting on that car and they know and they understand, you know, what I had to do to get to this point. Like it was a lot of bumps in the road. Listen, I, I wasn't, wasn't one of those children. I'm actually glad I wasn't one of those children that, you know, had a silver spoon in their mouth. You know, it was just constant grinding, man. You know, from sun up to sundown, we out there selling pecans, raking leaves, cutting grass, washing dogs anything you named man we were really like just some young kids out there just trying to get it and i don't know i'm just a firm believer that in life what life really does is one thing it is going to do is going to humble you and it's going to get you to to go back to your roots what you are used to doing and starting over for me is not hard because there's something about that process of growing and and really getting to know who you are deep down like there is no greater feeling than starting from the bottom and really like getting to that point that's why listen i absolutely love that process i love growing businesses i love you know uh starting youtube channels i love starting anything man and watching that thing grow flourish whatever you want to call it and i do understand along the way there are going to be a lot of bumps there are going to be a lot of bruises you're going to run into a lot of walls but don't let that stop you if anything that should be pushing you forward to excel like listen i'm going full speed man 100 miles per hour dog we're gonna get there by any means necessary we're gonna make a mistake we're gonna make it full speed ahead man but I just wanted to, you know, leave that with you guys today, man. Again, this stuff has been really, really heavy on me because of, you know, what's going on with this, this land process, man. You know, we, we are really running into a lot of, we're running into a lot of different things. But again, I know and I understand, like, it's coming. It's coming, man. We continue to get closer and closer with securing this, this plot of land. And I'm telling you, man, I really do feel like before this month is over with, we're going to bring something to y'all. All right. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get up out of here, man. I do apologize. I know 
Your boy get long-winded sometimes. I'm a little bit more on the passionate, passionate side, especially when we start to talk about a process, going through things, because this is my real life experience. But anywho, man, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Y'all be blessed, y'all be beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace. Blueberry, Burberry, button up. Ten skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada, weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna. Whoa, too bad was you know.